Hello, and welcome to part 56 of my Skyrim VR role-playing Let's Play. In our last episode, Lucian got an emergency alert from Doomsbathar. When Raven, Lucian, and Inigo arrived, they found the place overrun by Daedra. And another big surprise, Lucian had rebuilt and reprogrammed the AI of Doomsbathar. He had kept it a secret because he thought Raven might be upset, though what really upset her was the fact he'd kept it secret. She was actually impressed that he was able to transform the psychotic Doomspathar AI into a cooperative assistant. After clearing out the Daedra, Lucian found a horse wandering through Doomspathar, a horse that talked to him and said his name is Clive. It came from the Oblivion Gate. Might it be a Daedra? Well, at least Lucian can ride a horse now. After clearing out some Draugr for Raven's business partner, Rallus, they headed back to Skyrim. As long as there are Thalmor in Skyrim, that tower is in danger. Will General Tullius listen to reason and help with the defense? Or is he too obsessed with defeating Ulfric Stormcloak? Without further ado, let's get right into episode 56. Okay. I could use a little extra luck. Divines bless you. May the ground you walk quake as you pass. Here, have some gold. Oh, thank you. Divines bless your kind heart. Here, have 50 more. Thank you. Here, this is for you. Thank you. It's best you leave me be. Well, I don't have anything else to say to you. Heard they're reforming a dawn guard. Vampire hunters or something in the old fort near Riften. Yeah, Might whatever. Consider joining up myself. Okay, here we are. Wish me luck. I think I need it. The winking skeevers got warm beds and cold mead. You look like you could use both. Definitely, I can use both. <sighs> I'm telling you. Ulfric's planning an attack on Whiterun. He'd be insane to try. He doesn't have the men. That's not what my scouts report, sir. Every day more join his cause. Riften, Dawnstar, and Winterhold support him. It's not a cause. It's a rebellion. Call it whatever you like, General. The man's going to try to take Whiterun. Jarl Balgruf. Balgruf refuses the Legion's right to garrison troops in his city. On the other hand, he also refuses to acknowledge Ulfric's claim. Well, if he wants to stand outside the protection of the Empire, fine. Let Ulfric pillage his city. Seriously? General. You people and your damn Jarls. Sir, you can't force a Nord to accept help he hasn't asked for. If Ulfric's making a move for Whiterun, then we need to be there to stop him. Draft another letter with the usual platitudes, but this time share some of your intelligence regarding Ulfric's plans. Embellish if you have to. Embellish? We'll let it seem like it's his idea. Yes, sir. You Nords and your bloody sense of honor. Uh, that's kind of sir. a good thing. That's kind of one of the few good things about them? Okay. No, not getting into that. I need to talk to you, sir. Speak with Legat Ricca. She will determine if you are Legion material. Yeah, how is this war going anyways? Hjalmarch is an important buffer zone between the rebel forces and the capital. Ulfric will try to break through at some point. Yeah, there's a bigger problem. A much bigger problem right now. And it's the Thalmor. The Thalmor just recently tried to break the tower at the throat of the world. If the tower is broken... <laughs> it's not just Cyrodiil that's in danger. It's this whole world. The whole world could be ended. This civil war is greatly hampering any attempt to defend the tower. So what will it take to end it? Like, right now? Ulfric Stormcloak's head rolling away from his lifeless body. Uh-huh. What is the Legion doing are they able to do anything to keep the Thalmor out of Skyrim? Because if they get near that tower again, we could all be lost. The Legion's always been here. Without us to keep order, the provinces would fall into barbarism and lawlessness. Especially Skyrim. 
Take, for example, Ulfric Stormcloak and his little rebellion. But rest assured, his days are numbered. Okay, so what if I made that happen? Can you give me any assurances that you will keep the Thalmor out of Skyrim? Will you even talk to me about the threat that the Thalmor pose? We will oust Alfred from Windhelm soon enough. And when we do, I'll have his head on a plate. Yeah. He seems a bit obsessed. Here, I've got some documents that I want you to look at. Dismiss. I got some stuff. You need to look at this. I think I have them with me. I do. Here, General. New orders for the soldiers, Leggett. Make sure they're distributed. General. Sir, half of the orders are missing. Yes, Inigo. That is correct. Those orders have been delivered by special courier. I can't trust some of our normal distribution channels. Understood, sir. General, I've got documents showing the Thalmor's plan. They have no intention of honoring this white gold concordant. This is the threat. Will you look at these? Here, look at those. Open that tube and look at the documents in there. That will tell you everything you need to know. I trust this is something important? Obviously. The Thalmor are a huge threat. Will you even talk to there me? Isn't someone less busy who can help you? Fine. Leggett, Ricky. Leggett. Stay sharp. Will you talk to me about the Thalmor? You survived Helgen? General Tullius told me what happened. Not many made it out alive. I've got a good feeling about you, and I don't often get good feelings about anything. A warrior knows to trust her gut. I'm not going to go through the normal process with you. What? I've got a little test lined up. Pass I'm... that, and we'll talk about you joining the Legion. I don't want to join the Legion. I need to talk to you about the imminent threat that the Thalmor pose to this whole world. Not just Skyrim, not just Cyrodiil, the whole world. You won't talk to me about it either, will you? Not for fuck's I'm sake. sending you to clear out Fort Haragstad. If you survive, you'll pass. I have no interest in passing. If you die, then I'll have no further use for your corpse. If you don't focus on the Thalmor, we're all gonna suffer a fate far worse than death. I mean the Dark Realm. Have you ever heard of Cold Harbor? The Dark Realm makes it look like Disneyland. Gotta find someone else to talk to. Got to keep my eyes open. Okay, okay. Damn dragons could swoop down at any time. Maybe the Jarl. Do you think the Jarl has any influence? I mean, she's she would be the queen if this moot that I've heard about would meet. She should be the high queen. Maybe I can talk to the Jarl? Because so far they won't even talk to me about the Thalmor. All their focus on is the Stormcloaks. Who are minor pests compared to the Thalmor. Keep the cold at bay with our spiced wine. Get your fresh fruit and produce here. Whoa. Solitude is really quite She plays with no hands. So much beauty and so much Impressive. <laughs> and she can play the lute with no hands. That's something. <sighs> Damn it. Where am I going? You have vanquished a great evil from Skyrim. You have saved this land and our very souls. And yet General Tullius won't even talk to me about what's important. What do you need? How about the Jarl? Okay, here we are. <sighs> there she is. I swear to you, unnatural magics are coming from that cave. There are strange noises and lights. We need someone to investigate. 
Then we will immediately send out a legion to scour the cave and secure the town. Oh, Hathagar's people will always be safe under my rule. Your Eminence, my scrying has suggested nothing in the area. Dragonbridge is under Imperial control. This is likely superstitious nonsense. Perhaps a more tempered reaction might be called for? Oh, yes, of course, you were right. Falk, tell Captain Aldis I said to assign a few extra soldiers to Dragonbridge. Thank you, Jarl Elisif. What about the cave? I will have someone take care of the cave as well, Varnius. You can rest easy. You're dismissed. All right. I think I might have a better idea. Dame Bryling, at your service. Instead you of just need. coming in here You're and asking for something. Who aren't complete fools. No, you're definitely a complete fool. So, instead of just coming in here and asking for something, I'm going to do something for them first. Maybe that will put me on better terms. And they'll listen. Do you have business with... I am the Jarl Steward. If you have court business to tend to, you talk to me. Actually, I'm volunteering to look into the Wolf Skull Cave matter, if you'd like. You mean the Dragon Bridge issue? Yes. I'll be honest with you. I was planning to let that go. Varnius is a bit jumpy at the best of times. There have been reports of weird happenings near Wolfskull Cave. Travelers disappearing, odd lights. I suspect wild animals, or perhaps bandits. I don't think it's worth our time with the war going on. But if you want to clear out the cave, I'll make sure you're repaid for your work. All right. Why is it called Wolf Skull Cave, anyway? The cave has a bad history. Long ago, Potema the Wolf Queen used it for necromantic rituals. That's where it got the name. That was over 500 years ago. Nothing much down there now. But everyone's always convinced the cave is haunted. Interesting. I'm just wondering, does General Tullius respect Elisif's opinions? Of course he does. He does? What sort of a question is that? Well. Maybe you've been listening to Eriker. There's been loose talk among some of the Thanes, and I suspect he's the cause of it. You'll pay those rumors no heed if you wish to retain your welcome in this city. She may be young, but Elisif is the Jarl by right. And here in Skyrim, if nothing else, we respect the traditions of our father's fathers. You'd do well to remember that. I think you got that backwards. I'm not asking if Elisif is fit to be Jarl. I'm asking if General Tullius will listen to her. Okay, well, I'll take care of your wolf skull cave problem. I'll talk to you later. Feel free to return to me with questions. The Blue Palace is an open forum. I'm just gonna look around a bit. Ooh, I see a sweet roll. I see some food. Hey. These people are rich. I can rob them, right? <laughs> sweet roll. I'll take all the sweet rolls I can get. Oops. Hey, I can use food. What can I say? Is that another of those weird floating gems? It is. Cool. Okay. I got a sweet roll. Let's get out of here.
doesn't bother you of my stealing things, does it? I hope not. Okay, let's just go. Yeah, I hope I don't get oh, hello. caught. Just tidying up. Hi. Nice day. What the? I think Lucian just had a seizure. Are you okay, Lucian? That did not look pleasant. Let's go to Wolf Skull Cave and take care of whatever's going on there. Maybe they'll trust me a bit more when I've done something for them. Good day. Hello. I think we have another person playing the loot with no hands. Is that something you learn at the Bard's College? <laughs> nice trick. It's your time to do with as you please. But what about those who depend on you so much? Is that guy talking to himself? Are you okay? Please, take pity on an old madman. What, you just need some gold? Oh, thank you. Divines bless your kind heart. Do you need something else? My master has abandoned me, abandoned his people, and nothing I say can change his mind. Now he refuses to even see me. He says I interrupt his vacation. It's been so many years. Years? Won't you please help? That's a long vacation. How can I find your master? Last I saw him, he was visiting a friend in the Blue Palace. But no one as mundane as a Jarl. No, no. Such people are below him. Really? No. He went into the forbidden wing of the palace to speak with an old friend. Said it had been ages since they had last had tea. Oh, and you'll need the hip bone. What? It's very important. No entering Pelagius's wing without that. Ew. Gross. So why do you need him back? Without his guidance, our homeland is falling apart. North wages war against South. The Holy Flame flickers and dies. We need his return. Oh, but I'm sure he'll repay you when he comes to his senses. His favor is a powerful, powerful thing. And so very worth any inconveniences. Is he like a king? Who is your master? He is a great man, but one rarely praised. He rules twin empires that span the length and breadth of our minds. All know him, but few can name him. But he has forbidden me from saying his name. Okay. He says it distracts him, and woe to those who draw his ire. But you will know him when you see him. He's the one who made me like this. That doesn't sound like a good thing. How can I get to him? He stays in the Pelagius wing of the Blue Palace. The doors are locked, and only Falk Firebeard can grant entry. But I hear the maids, Una and Erdi, know how to enter it for cleaning. Surely they could help for such an important matter. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna go talk to him. Hang tight. Uh-huh. Inigo? Lucian? Where are you? Oh, great. I think I've lost Inigo and Lucian. Yes, Dovaki. How can I help you? Pound some sense into General Talius. Actually, tell me where Inigo and Lucian are. That would be a big help right there. Where are are they? Did they go up to the inn, maybe? Hanging out in the marketplace? I guess I can use my where's Inigo and my resonance sphere. I'm a little sphere. busy at the moment. I've got all sorts of errands to run. And yet you're the one that started talking to me. As High Priest of the Eight Divines, I bid you welcome. Are they in here, maybe? Feel free to make requests. Hey, Welcome. there you are! Let me know if you want anything. Where did you guys disappear to? Here somewhere. 
Okay, this guy I talked to. He's looking for his master. Sounds like he might be a king, because the guy said his master outranks the Jarl by a long shot. This sounds like it might be someone who would have the authority to speak with Tullius and actually get an answer from him. He's in the Blue Palace visiting a friend right now. Although he may have been doing this for a few years. Huh? Oh, sorry. Yeah, the guy I talked to, he's not all there upstairs, so I'm not entirely sure. But it's someone he said outranks yes, the Jarl. How can I help you? And from the look on his face, I'm thinking maybe this guy even outranks your average king. If I could convince him, that would be a big step. Gotta keep my eyes open. Damn dragons could swoop down at any time. All right. Might have something here. <sighs> Falk Firebeard can get me access, huh? Excuse me. The Jarl is not to be disturbed with common affairs at court. You direct those concerns to me. I need to get into the Pelagius wing, and I was told you were the man to talk to. Absolutely not. What? That wing has been sealed for hundreds of years. But... And for good reason. They say the ghost of Pelagius the Mad still haunts it. Ghost or not, there are reminders of his dark rule that are best left buried away. Feel free to return to me with questions. Really? The Blue Palace is an open forum. It says it's been sealed for years? <clears throat> also said the maids could help me. Hi. Oh, hello. Just tidying up. Maybe you need a partner, hmm? Just picture it. Two women. The dusty road. Strapping men at every tavern. A fortune in gold to be claimed. As nice as that sounds, right now I just need to get into the Pelagius wing. Oh, I'd get in trouble for that. It's not allowed. Besides, it's scary in there. I won't tell anyone. Besides, Falk said I could check it out. Well, I suppose in that case it's okay to let you in. But only briefly. Be careful and come right back. Alright. Don't mess anything up while you're here. I'll be careful. What the... Okay, Falk wasn't kidding when he said no one comes in here. And as for the maids cleaning it, I don't think that's happened in about a hundred years. I think we've been played. I find it hard to believe that any high-ranking official is going to be here. But might as well check it out. Ugh, I hate cobwebs. Yeah. Great. Yuck. What the? Oh, I couldn't. What the? It was right through me. Besides, I have so many things to do. So many undesirables to contend with. Naysayers, buffoons, detractors. Why, my, my headsman hasn't slept in three days. You are far too hard on yourself. A dear, sweet, homicidally insane Pelagius. What would the people do without you? Dance? Sing? Smile? <laughs> grow old? You are the best septum that's ever ruled. Well, except for that Martin fella. But he turned into a dragon god. And that's hardly sporting. You know, I was there for that whole sordid affair. Marvelous the hell? Butterflies, blood, a fox, a severed head, ho ho ho, and the cheese to die for. Yes, yes, as you've said countless times before. Harumph! Well then, if you're going to be like that, perhaps it's best I take my leave. A good day to you, sir. I said good day! Yes, yes, go. Leave me to my ceaseless responsibilities and burdens. What the? 
Okay. That was weird. Hi. How rude! Can't be bothered to host an old friend for a decade or two. That's a long time. Yeah, where are we? I was just in the Blue Palace and now I'm here. Inside the mind of Pelagius, silly. Of course. Oh, is it your first time? I'm just here to deliver a message. Really? Oh, oh, what kind of message? A song! A summons! Wait, uh, I know! A death threat written on the back of an Argonian concubine! Ah, those are my <laughs> favorites. Well, spit it out, mortal! I haven't got an eternity. Actually, I do. Little joke. <laughs> but seriously, what's the message? Yeah, I kind of think I made a mistake coming here. Oh, no, 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 no mistake at all. What you made was a choice. Granted, not a very wise choice, but <laughs> these things happen. <laughs> oh, the folly of youth. You know, you remind me of myself at a young age. Really? All I cared about was riding narwhals and sleeping in honeycombs and drinking baby's tears. Word of advice, if you ride a narwhal, mind the pointy end. Keep that in mind. Ah, but there I go. Waxing poetic about me misspent youth. Now, where were we? Oh, yes, you're the mortal messenger. And I am? Honestly, have you any idea? I'm afraid I don't know, sir. Actually, you do. I do? Sort of. I am a part of you, little mortal. I'm a shadow in your subconscious. A blemish on your fragile little psyche. You know me. You just don't know it. Sheagorath, Daedric Prince of Madness, at your service. Great. Okay, the message was that your people need you back. So just let me know, are you ready to leave or not? Now that's the real question, isn't it? Because honestly, how much time off could a demented Daedra really need? So, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to leave. That's right. Really? I'm done. Holiday complete. Time to return to the humdrum day to day. On one condition. You have to find the way out first. Well, good luck with that. Okay, what's the catch? Ha! I do love it when the mortals know they're being manipulated. Makes things infinitely more interesting. Care to take a look around? This is not, I dare say, the Solitude Botanical Gardens. Have you any idea where you are? Where you truly are? Welcome to the deceptively verdant mind of the Emperor Pelagius the Third. That's right! You're in the head of a dead, homicidally insane monarch! <laughs> now, I know what you're thinking. Can I still rely on my swords and spells and sneaking and all that nonsense? Sure. Sure. Or you could use... The Wabajack! The Wabajack? Huh? huh? Didn't see that coming, did you? Oh, neat. Cool staff. Can I pick up some of this food here? Do you mind? I just had something to eat. Okay, that's enough food. I'm still kind of thirsty. Ooh, I love apple pie. Sweet rolls.
Okay, okay. I'll get busy. All this mist. Oh! What? Good choice! Well, good for me. I find everyone being out to get you so terribly entertaining. <laughs> you might find it less so. You see, Pelagius's mother was, well, let us say, unique. Yeah. Although I suppose, in the grand scheme of things, she was fairly average for a septum. That woman wielded fear like a cleaver. Or did she wield a cleaver and make people afraid? I never get that part right. Oh, but she taught her son well. Pelagius learned in a very early age that danger could come from anywhere, at any time, delivered by anyone. Objective here is simple, you simpleton. Use your wabajack to defeat the enemy while they do the same. Maybe the enemy's behind him. Oh, I thought you'd never figure it out. With the threat gone, Pelagius is under the delusion that he's safe, which means you've helped him out. Sort of. Sort of. And you're <laughs> that much closer to home. Still looks like chaos, but okay. This whole place is creepy. All this mist makes it look like Silent Hill. Yeah. Hope that there's no mutant monsters in here. <laughs> That'd be fun. Ah! Now this is a sad path. Pelagius hated and feared many things. Assassins, wild dogs, the undead. Pumpernickel. Pumpernickel. But the deepest, keenest hatred was for himself. The attacks he makes on himself can be seen here fully. They're always carried out on the weakest part of his fragile self. The self-loathing enhances Pelagius's anger. Ah. His confidence will shrink with every hit. You must bring the two into balance. No! You are as good as dead. Wonderfully done! Pelagius is finally ready to love himself and continue hating everyone else. Okay, that does not sound like an improvement. Is this place even real? Will I have these ingredients when I get out of here? There's an interesting thought. Is it just me, or is it getting saner and saner these days? In my home world, it's quite the opposite. You have headed down the path of dreams. Unfortunately for you, Pelagius suffered night terrors from a young age. There's gonna be monsters. All you need to do is find something to wake our poor Pelagius up. You'll find his terrors easy to repel, but persistent. There he is. Hey, wake up. Hmm? A wolf? Interesting. Wake up, Pelagius. Helps if I hit the target. Picked a bad time to get lost, friend. Come on, Pelagius, wake up. Hag Raven. There we go. That actually hurt. Pelagius, wake up. Hey, Pelagius. 
Damn it. Yikes. Well, now that's something to crow about. With Pelagius up and about, you're moving right along. We'll both be home in no time. Damn it, I can't catch that moth. <laughs> you okay, Pelagius? Got something to say? Not really, and neither do you. A chest. Aw, oh, man. I can't loot the chest. Now that is disappointing. All right, what now? So far, this is not too difficult. I have a say. I'm not going to feel what you have to like. What? Or something. Yeah, well, I guess I've fixed Pelagius's mind. Hmm. Fixed is such a subjective term. I think treated is far more appropriate. All right, you? sure. Like one does to a rash or an arrow in the face. Ouch. Ah, but no matter. Heartless mortal that you are, you've actually succeeded and survived. I am first to honor my end of the bargain. So, congratulations. You're free to go. How? I have been known to change my mind. So, go. Really? How? How? Where do I go? Pelagius Septum the Third, once the Mad Emperor of Tamriel. Now oh, so boringly sane. I always knew he had it in him. Well, I suppose it's back to the Shivering Isles. The trouble Haskell can get into while I'm gone simply boggles the mind. Let's make sure I'm not forgetting anything. Clothes, check. Beard, check. Luggage. Your luggage. trunk's right there. Where do I leave my luggage? <laughs> Bad joke. Yikes. Oh, it's you. Master, you've taken me back. Does this mean we're going home? Oh, happy times. I can't wait to... Yes, yes, that's quite enough celebration. Let's send you ahead, shall we? As for you, a little mortal minion, feel free to keep the Waba Jack as a symbol of my... I'll just take the damn thing. Cool. You take care of yourself now. And if you ever find yourself up in New Sheo, do look me up. We can share a strawberry tart. Ha ha! Ta-ta! Hey, that sounds good. How do I get out of here? Oh, there we go. Follow the Daedric Prince Sheogoroth. The Mad God is the Prince of Madness whose motives are fickle and unknown. Pray to receive a random touch of madness. Pray often and receive Sheogoroth's touch of madness. Never disrespect cheese? It seems a bit too random for me. <laughs> I think I'll stick with Hermaeus Mora. You guys okay? I was somewhere else. Apparently my clothes have even been changed, which is really weird. This place has been locked up for how long and there's fresh cheese? That's a, it's a shrine of Shale Goroth. Ow! This bumped my head. That's what I get for not watching where I'm going. Alright, I think maybe we should just get out of here. Yeah, the person that I thought I was going to talk to turned out to be a Daedric Prince. Shao Goroth, the Daedric Prince of Madness. 
I guess a Daedric Prince does outrank a general, but yeah, I didn't really see that possibility as getting me anywhere. All right, let's get out of here. Okay, I say let's head to the Winking Skeever and get some rest. Hopefully if I clear out Wolf Skull Cave, then I'll be able to talk to the Jarl and she will talk to General Tullius. Someone's got to be able to get through to him, right? I hope. Good day. Good night. It's almost midnight. I mostly deal with petty thievery and drug and brawls. Been too long since we've had a good bandit raid. So exciting when new folk come into town. I bet you've had plenty of adventures. Yeah. I've had some. Come on in. Let me know if you need anything, or take a seat by the fire and I'll send someone over. Hello. Welcome to the Winking Skeever, friend. What do you have for sale? Take a look. All right. I also need a room. Sure thing. It's yours for a day. All right, thanks. I'll show you to your room. Right this way. I know where if it is. If you're looking for a challenge, you've come to the right place. What? A challenge? Well, that sounds interesting, but I'm kind of tired right now. If this guy's going to take the time to show my room that I already know where it is, I'm going to steal his sweet rolls. I got some extra sweet rolls in to go. Let me know if there's anything else you need. Uh, thanks. Do you need something? Hide sweet rolls. <sighs> if you need a good rumor or two, I think I can oblige. I am not hiding sweet rolls behind my back. That might have been a flat out lie. You do know that's not going to keep people from finding you, right? <laughs> Bedtime. <sighs> Good morning, guys. I think I better put my regular clothes back on so I don't forget. For some reason, when I ended up in Sheo Goroth's little place, I... My clothing changed entirely. All right. I think that's it. Also want to re-equip my weapons. I think that'll do it. I'm gonna say my prayers too. Don't remember the last time I did that. Fifty-seven point four. Okay. Do I have enough stuff that I can head to Apocrypha just to drop it off? I don't think I'm carrying that much right now. Hey, I have Eldritch pages. 
Isn't that what Mora said he was looking for? Hmm, let's take a look at him. Interesting. How about this one? It's look like alchemical ingredients. And I got one more. Well, it doesn't make a lot of sense to me, but I think Mora likes it, so I'll see if I can find some more. All right, you guys ready to go? Hi there. Hello. Seems there's always more to be done. Oh yeah, don't I know it. Okay, where are they? There's Inigo, and there's Lucian. Okay, good. <laughs> huh? Oh, sorry. Eh, no problem. Let's head to Wolf Skull Cave and see what's going on there. Lightly armored means light on your feet. Smart. I'm gonna check out that staff that I got from Sheo Goroth. That's not magic, it's an item. The Wabajack. Transforms the target into a random creature for 30 seconds. Hmm. I'm gonna see what it does. Looks kinda neat. Should be right here. There it is. Oh, skellies. I turned it into an elk. Well, that's interesting. <laughs> turned it into something not dangerous. Is ready to go inside? What are you looking at? Don't tell me there's a dragon up there, Lucian. Ah, there's a dragon up there somewhere, isn't there? That's why you're looking straight up. Or are you just on skooma? Okay, let's go in the cave. Dragon can't get in the cave. It's too small. I see a Draugr. I'm gonna hit him with the Wabajack. A mud crab! <laughs> Turned a Draugr into a mud crab! <laughs> oh wow. I saw a side passage up here I wanna check first. Necromancers. Maybe I can snipe them from up here. So maybe I can hit the target. Sorted. Nice and simple. Nice. I got them both.
here we go. Wow, that dead body is twitching. With an arrow through her face! That's what Shea was saying you could treat, an arrow to the face. But I don't think it'll do any good for her. <laughs> oh crap! Taurus Reaper? I don't like those. You're dead. I hate these things. Me too. Which do you mean, the chores or the zombie? I don't know which you hate, the chores or the zombie. I hate the bugs more. Okay, I'm gonna go down there. It looks a little far, but if we're careful... Okay. It's safe to come down. Whoa, check that out. What is going on in here? Wolf Queen, hear our call and awaken. We summon Potema. What? We summon Potema. Long have you slept the dreamless sleep of death, Potema. No longer. Hear us, Wolf Queen. We summon you. We summon Potema. Summoning Potema? That seems like a bad idea. Uh oh, you can block it? Some Daedric artifact. into a wolf and her own draugr killed her what the ah bear I got a little distracted by the body that's floating in the air Why is she floating in the air? Right. Gravity. Who needs it? Is the bear or Draugr floating in the air too? I don't see it. He's way in here. <laughs> Oh, that one got worse. Do I have unrelenting force selected? No, I do not. Foos you! Can I wobba jack it again? Oh, now it's a troll? What the hell? Wait, Lucian was a troll? I'm really sorry about that, Lucian. Oh, damn it. I don't think this is a good idea. Where's my healing hand spell? I don't have it favorited anymore. Damn it. I'm really sorry about that, Lucian. I didn't mean to wobbajack you, and I didn't mean to attack you. I think maybe I should not use the Wabba Jack when I have someone with me. Who's yeah, if anything, that was my fault that he might not have. 
really sorry, Lucian. It's kind of an interesting thing, but I turned Lucian into Bruce a troll. I'm going to try Seeker Drain again. Yes! Yes! Return me to this realm! As our voices summon you, the blood of the innocent binds you with the... Summon the words, bow down to your blood. What? What are you doing, you fools? You cannot bind me to your wills. Some of the words found bind by blood. You ants don't have the power to bind me. <laughs> Let's see if I can put a stop to this summoning. Foose you both. Something is wrong. There is an intruder. I think they know we're here. down there I want it Ooh, and a nice potion too okay guys I'm coming back up you don't have to come down to meet me Guys, there you are. There's someone there. Who's you? Oh, what the? Um. I don't know if that was good or bad. <laughs> I think we disrupted the ritual, but something left through the hole in the roof. Bloodworm helm. Necromantic helm of Manimarco, the Worm King. Eh. But it's unique. I'll take it. Okay. Got another chest. I think that's it, and I'm ready to get out of here.
Yeah, I know where to go from here. I recognize this spot. We have some Hey, where'd you come from? Maybe that's the one that I turned into an elk? Yeah, it did say it only lasted for 30 seconds. Wait, what's going on here? Are you guys turning people over to the Thalmor again? I know you've done it in the past. Citizen, I'm warning you. Your present And I won't allow it to happen again. Die, dog. Be ready. I did he dodge my foos? How do you do that? I can make you blindfolded. They're all gone. Oh great, what is this? What was they never should have come to you? Who the hell are you guys? <laughs> are dead. Bandits? Are you okay, dude? Hey wait, who are you? I wanna know who you are. Oh, you're just a bandit's captive. I guess he's just a civilian, but Jeez. Sorry, Lucian. I just have a serious problem with letting them turn people over to the Thalmor to be tortured and executed. Talos guide you. You better get to a safe territory. This is Imperial territory. Close enough. Wait, do we miss a bandit? Those fools. Come on, come on. Yes, come on. Must have scared him off. Nobody. Sorry, I thought I'd gotten all of them. Are you okay? Uh, you don't look like a prisoner anymore, but. Yes. Here, have some money. You can hire a carriage to get home. Thank you. Here, this is for you. Thanks. All right, then. Okay. All right. Let me see about selling off some of this junk. Let me know if you see anything you like. Hello. Hmm? Let's see what you have for sale. Take a look. Okay, thanks. You take care. Come back to bits and pieces anytime. I'm sure I will. I need to talk to Folk Firebeard now. And hopefully I can speak to the Jarl. Well, that's a trick. You're playing the flute without even having it up to your lips. Wow. These bards around here have some pretty interesting tricks. Hey, Falk. Falk Firebeard? You've returned? Yes. Good. What did you find at Wolf Skull Cave? There were necromancers there, and they were attempting to summon and bind Potema. Potema herself? Yeah. Please tell me you stopped them. 
Well, I interrupted the ritual, so it looks like it's done. You've done a larger service to the realm than you could possibly know. A resurrected Potema. I shudder at the thought. I kind of thought that would be bad news. Now, can I speak to the Jarl, please? And that will be all for this episode. Well, talking to General Tullius proved almost as effective as talking to a brick wall. He would not even talk about the Thalmor. Raven decided to try to talk to the Jarl, who was in line to be High Queen of Skyrim. Raven accepted a quest to clear Wolf Skull Cave to try to get on the court's good side. A madman in town said he knew someone who outranks the Jarl, who was in the forbidden wing of the Blue Palace, but this person turned out to be Sheo Goroth, the Daedric Prince of Madness. No help to be found there. The Wabajak seemed pretty cool, though, until Raven accidentally turned Lucian into a troll and beat the crap out of him because she didn't know it was him. Oops. Wolf Skull Cave was a bigger problem than Falk Firebeard had realized. Necromancers were trying to summon the Wolf Queen Potema, which would be bad news for everyone. At least Falk is grateful. It's time to talk to the Jarl Elisif and see if she is willing to talk to General Tullius. Thank you for watching this video. Please click like and subscribe if you enjoyed it. I will see you for the next episode. Until then, may Talos be with you.